Mark Walters started from scratch a bone marrow transplant program, uh, helped construct the facility that we have, uh, has created uh, a resource for families throughout the world, and is recognized as one of the leading uh, figures in the area of bone marrow transplant for children with hemoglobinopathies. He really is a classic example of translational research because the work we're doing in the laboratory related to cord blood and stem cells are the work that he is using uh, to improve transplant outcomes in children. My name is Dr. Mark Walters and I'm the director of the, the blood and marrow transplant program here at Children's Hospital Oakland. In 2009, an extraordinary gift uh, was given to us in the amount of uh, uh, just under ten million dollars. The gift was donated it, with the idea that what we really wanted to develop was uh, a cellular therapy program. So a stem cell program that would be started as a research program but with the idea that uh, we would develop new therapies that would be offered uh, to children with some of these disorders that we treat. I led a, a national clinical trial where we proved that in fact the results after the umbilical cord blood transplantation from a brother or sister donor were about the same, and in fact some ways better, than the results after a bone marrow transplantation. So that today in 2011, when we have the luxury of a, an umbilical cord blood collection from a healthy brother or sister, that's the source of stem cells we use for the transplant. We don't use the bone marrow. The other important thing about umbilical cord blood, and this is uh, an area of research that we're pursuing currently, is that because it's from a baby, the immune system is not fully developed. So that you don't need a perfect match to pull to to um, to conduct the transplantation procedure. So we've been very interested in looking at uh, umbilical cord blood collections from unrelated donors to see if we might uh, do this this uh, this kind of transplant successfully. So we've uh, embarked upon uh, a clinical trial again in, in young patients with thalassemia major using unrelated donor uh, cord blood transplantations. And we've actually done three of these cases in our own center, uh, and which have so far appeared to have uh, successful outcomes. We've developed a model in the laboratory uh, over at the Research Institute a few blocks away. And I've, I've worked with uh, Bindu Kanathsaza and Franz Kuypers uh, who are scientists at uh, the Research Institute. Bindu is also a physician who helps take care of patients in the transplantation program. And together we've done a, a research project in the mouse that uh, has outlined a way to do successful transplantation even when there's a very high level of, uh, of mismatching. Rely upon uh, a new technique. There's a way to treat the, uh, the donor cells that renders them uh, unable to cause an immune reaction against the host. And we call that complication graft versus host disease. And it's the main reason why we can't use mismatched donors. Um, but using this new technique that they've pioneered in the laboratory, we can basically prevent the graft versus host disease from occurring, but still get engraftment of the donor cells. And so we're keenly interested in the possibility of eventually translating that kind of system that we've proven in the mouse to a clinical trial that we might perform in children with, uh, with thalassemia and, and sickle cell anemia. It's very clear that the practice based here at Children's that if we have any opportunity at all to be able to implement research or be part of a research study that that's clearly a priority. Dr. Walters and the rest of the team is very much into research based practice and so um, there isn't just a knee jerk to jump on the next fad. There's really you know making sure that there's um, proven literature that supports the care that we're giving. It's important for physicians um, to be able to expand their own knowledge but also to be expanding um, other areas to be able to do both clinical and um, laboratory research. He's an amazing doctor. Um, I think the the discussions that he has to have with families are very intense based on their diagnosis and their treatment that they're going through and he has an amazing job of being able to deliver that in a compassionate way, in an empathetic way. Um, he also um, presents himself with a lot of confidence and you can see that in the interactions with patients, parents and families. They feel comfortable knowing that the plan he's presenting is being honest and open and that if they need any information, he's there for them. Um, and he's a great pediatrician. His interactions with the patients and the children are phenomenal.
My name is Adriana Boomrod and I first came to Children's Hospital Oakland um, at the age of seven after being diagnosed with APL leukemia and I was here for four years in and out with two different um, transplants and radiation, chemotherapy, all the kind of stuff that's involved in that. Dr. Walters is just like the most amazing doctor anybody can ask for because he's like he's so organized and so nice and he just made like the whole process like so easy and smooth for me and he just he takes like the little steps that like make everything like just work so well and it's just like and he'll like throw in a joke and like just make everything like funny and just he's not like afraid to like goof around and he but he still gets the job done and he's just like the perfect balance of a good doctor and like a Friend. He's a great teacher. He's extremely smart. He gets along great with his families. He's kind and he's thoughtful and he's brilliant. And I'm just so pleased that he's here at Children's Hospital.